Hamilton. Drops a pass down low. The return to Hamilton. His shot bought off by DeSmith. Devils keep the puck moving. Hughes in the corner. For Heischer, his shot, he scored! Nico Heischer with a power play goal to make it a 6-1 lead. Well, this is just a great pass from Jack Hughes. Scored that right when the 5-on-3 expired. Two-man advantage. Shot from Nico Heischer. Penguins were doing a good job on the 3-on-5, blocking some Hamilton drives. Then the Smith didn't make a save, but you see Brad keeps it alive. Obviously, you got two-man advantage you've got to get to those loose pucks and puck retrieval and there's the pass from Hughes to Heischer and against the grain watch this catch and release that is the key there he just doesn't let the Smith get completely set the Smith is way out to the top of the crease outside of it cage and that is just a perfect shot he's in great position to make yeah, a still got, uh, power play quick release against the grain far and goes far side 6-1 Devils what a night for a lot of players offensively for New Jersey. Now that goal was scored after Crosby exited, so the first penalty to Jeff Carter is wiped out. Two minute power play for the Devils here. As it's played across and settled once again by Mercer. And now a minute 35 left on the penalties to Jeff Carter. Tomas Tatar starts up with the man advantage here. Sees traffic in the neutral zone and plays it ahead. Devils try to pick up Zaka, but that's broken up. Can make the case that the Devils' two best games this season have been played in this building. Remember, there was that proud 4-2 win earlier this year, just after Jack Hughes suffered the dislocated shoulder, and they found a way against a loaded Penguins team that night. Well, they had the eight days off. They had a team meeting, and obviously it's paid dividends. These guys came hungry, ready to play. Three goals in the first six minutes and change in the first period. Penguins came flying in the second. They get a goaltending performance. Still 9-21 left, but a comfortable 6-1 lead. And Nico does, I mean, finish it off right. Support him as well through the Devils' defense. And because this kid's confidence can really be raised from a performance like this. He's made a lot of good saves at key moments in the hockey game. Nathan Bastion on the puck, plays it back. Hamilton with the dish, and a quick shot by Hughes is blocked out of play. Finally, trivia answer time. Which two players recorded assists on Sidney Crosby's first NHL goal? Okay, I'm going Mark Recky. Yeah, okay. well, I'm going with Mario Lemieux on the other one. I guessed when you told me that. I don't know the other one. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> Recky, Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy Palfi. Woo! I assume when you said he's in the building camp, so mm. good get by you. What a player, Mark Recky. Off the draw. Penguins control, but can't get it out. I got was a good lead player back in the day, too. Ziggy Palfi. And now to center, where it's pushed ahead and taken back by the Devils. Here's Jesper Bratt. Set the tone for the Devils here tonight. Pass across. Now begin for Rodriguez with eight and a half to go. Likely in the tilt as that's steered away by Dawes. I remember Ziggy Balfi, he played in the mid-90s for the Islanders. He played a little bit for the Kings, I remember that too. Letang. He'll play it across. Teams are back to even strength. After the extended Devils power play, deflected into the corner. Time here for Jesper Boquist to play it ahead. Reaching up, Gensel to hold the zone. Jake Gensel from the sharp angle, fires off glass. Now Andreas Janssen to send it back out to the neutral zone. Devils on back-to-back -back nights tonight in Pittsburgh, tomorrow night in Chicago. Here comes Hughes across the goal mouth. Gathered by Sharon Govich, one of the goal scorers tonight. Plays to the far corner. Johnson tried to cycle it for Subban, but that's met by Pittsburgh. Loose in front, taken away. Hughes looking for the pass option. It goes to Crosby. Full change for the Penguins here, with Siegenthaler on the puck. Sent in off Hughes' stick, tricky puck is handled by the Smith, 
And now Dawson Mercer. He's a taken back by the Penguins and out to center. Michael McLeod. Pittsburgh, a team that's qualified for the playoffs each of the previous 15 seasons. That's the longest such streak going in the National Hockey League. They've been eliminated in the opening round each of the last three years, though. Looking to change that up this time. The Islanders who got them in the opening round last year in six games. Well, you mentioned a couple of losses before their many four-day break. And those two top teams, they lost to Carolina and Toronto, mm -hmm. but the Devils have come out here and really put a beating on them, and, and the Devils were due for something like this. These guys have worked hard. Everything came together here. And especially when your goaltender and your defense and your offense comes and meshes, well, you're going to find yourself winning some games. Here's Latang for Pittsburgh. Much of the place has emptied out. You don't <laughs> say that a lot. A shot is redirected, possibly off Dawes. There was traffic in front and taken here by the Devils again. Penguins had a remarkable 633 consecutive game sellout streak that ended earlier this year. Obviously, the world has been a much different place over the last two years. Here's Ty Smith. Thanks to pandemic. With Zaka chasing and Brat deep in the zone, the Penguins are on the puck. Foot race into the Devils zone. I remember all the Smith times when the Kings used to sell out. Oh my goodness, they, they sold out like every game for like what, four or five years in a row. Zach Aston Reese checked in the corner, but the Devils can't get it out. Ruedel to play it back in deep. Game moving quickly now, under five minutes to go in the third. And I'm just watching the battles down low with the Devils up five. I mean, you have to continue to compete, and the Devils certainly are in their own zone. I, I love that. They want to play a complete 60-minute game here. Mercer gets spun around. Watched by Boyle, but the puck comes to Hughes. Here. What, sorry, Ken. What I mean by that is, you know, you're up five. You may let your guard down a little. And, and obviously you're going to play a little tighter, more conservative because other teams.